pickleball elbow, otherwise known as tennis elbow. Do you have it? What can we do about it? Let's talk about it. Pickleball elbow, it's pretty dang common. And it is gonna be, hit over here. Okay. It's gonna be a backhand problem and a mechanic problem. So it's right here, it's the lateral epicondyle. It's called lateral epicondylitis, that's a technical term. And, uh, and it's often from tennis players taking big swings and, and really locking out and gripping this, this paddle super hard and, uh, and engaging that lateral epicondyle. Pickleball players do the same thing. And so maybe your mechanics are this, it's a flick or a flick. Um, that, can, that can start to hurt quite a bit. A couple of tricks about, about lateral epicondylitis is gonna be lower your grip just a little bit and loosen your grip just a little bit. So if you can just, if your grip is here at the kitchen, you see I'm, I'm engaging that muscle set all the time and it's gonna hurt like crazy. But if I can loosen it, so drop your head to about here. Now your touch is gonna be better, your dinks are gonna be better and smoother and you're not gonna be so, so aggravating on that lateral epicondyle and causing this tennis elbow. We're just gonna hit a few, I'll show you a couple things. So, <laughs> so taking your paddle and keeping it loose, keeping your mechanics good, and swinging through is the key. Again, my grip strength is maybe 50% on these backhands, and I'm just keeping them steady and in. I'm not hitting the ball like this, I'm not flicking it, I'm not, I'm not slicing it and moving like this. Just stay steady, stay loose, about 50% strength. Those will help you a ton. Also a good stretch for this. So the lateral epicondyle are your extenders, right? So they extend the wrist. So in order to stretch this, you have to flex the wrist. So if you flex your wrist and actually turn it, so flex it, turn it out here and, and really torque on it like this. feels like a jujitsu death grip. Uh, and then straighten your arm. You're gonna feel that right here on your lateral epicondyle. It's gonna be a great stretch for you. You can also freeze an ice cup in like a, in like a paper cup and just, and just ice massage that lateral epicondyle after you're done playing. If it's aggravating you when you play, you have to stop. You have to reevaluate your mechanics, work with a tennis or a pickleball pro and, and work with their, your mechanics. Try to fix what you're doing that's aggravating that lateral epicondyle. There's all kinds of little braces and stuff you can use as well, but I like to get to the root of the problem and just fix it. So again, lower your paddle, loosen your grip strength just a little bit, stay steady on your backhand, don't flick or flick. Or, or pull through, <laughs> and that, that, that's pretty much it. Hope this video helped you out um, understanding a little bit about lateral epicondylitis and how you can prevent it and, uh, and fix it. And uh, if not, come check us out at Voice Direct Primary Care. We're super happy to help you. Uh, I have an undergrad in sports medicine, and my, obviously I'm a board certified family doc as well. So uh, happy to help you out, voicegpc.com, Dr. John.